But hello YouTube, you're looking dapper as usual. Sometimes you guys ask me questions that I've already answered before, but you don't know that because you haven't seen that particular comment section. Or you're not the one who messaged me the question, so you didn't see my answer. If I find a recurring theme to recurring questions, I'll just make a video to answer them. For the whole world to hear. Lately I've been getting a lot of the same questions about the popular YA trilogy, The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. So let's talk. <laughs> These are the most popular questions I get pertaining to The Hunger Games. What is my favorite book in the trilogy? My favorite book is Mockingjay. It was just an epic finale to an epic trilogy. Did a lot of people die? Yeah. Was it kind of depressing? Some may say. But in real life, is war kind of bloody and depressing? Yeah, kinda. So I really appreciated how realistic the outcome of the rebellion was. It's not all glory and smiles and rainbows and butterflies, guys. Plus, Peta's character development? Awesome. Gale's sudden disappearance Towards the end? Awesomer. Who needed him anyways? Am I Team Gale or Team Peta? I am Team Peta. Gale is so boring. His character doesn't develop or become the slightest bit exciting throughout the entire trilogy. He had three whole books to develop some death, people. That's an entire trilogy. And he still doesn't. Basically, in book one, he's a hot-headed hunter. In book two, he's a hot-headed hunter. And in book three, he's a hot-headed hunter with explosives. Peta, on the other hand, is an interesting character to follow. He starts out as a sort of sweet and naive guy, but as he starts facing harsh realities, he loves Katniss, Katniss may not love him back, he could die at any moment, Katniss could die at any moment. He changes, he becomes harder and less trusting. In book three, we get to see the meaner side of him and watch him overcome it. All in all, Peta's character development development? Gale's character development. What was my least favorite book in the trilogy? Well, I love all the books and I think they're all fantastic. But if I had to choose, I'd probably choose Catching Fire. It takes like 20 chapters of Katniss reflecting on her inner conflictions before they even get to the arena. And then they're only in the arena for like five minutes and then explosion, cliffhanger. Yeah. Who is my favorite character in the series? Hands down, Katniss Everdeen. Despite her circumstances, which always completely suck, Katniss manages to stay strong and protect the one she loves at all costs. Did she make mistakes? Of course. Flaws make the fictional world go round. But she always pulls through in the end and perseveres. I really admire that. Did I think the ending of Mockingjay was abrupt? Yeah, but it kinda needed to be. The worst is over. Coin and Snow are dead. Why stretch it out? I learned everything I wanted to learn. Gale goes away for good. Peta and Katniss get married and have kids and the Hunger Games are done for good. Katniss will never get over all that she's encountered. Understandable. Suzanne Collins wasn't being flighty. She wasn't bored with the story and just wanted to move on. Come on, it's the last book to a million dollar New York Times best-selling book series. You really think she was just like, eh, hey, I'm bored with this now. And then they had kids. The end. Mm -mm. No. She knew exactly what she was doing. Actually, knowing Suzanne Collins, we were lucky to get a kind of happy ending at all. Count your blessings. Do I think Suzanne Collins will write a fourth book to the series, or should? Uh, no and no. It's over. It needs to be over. Anything beyond the end of Mockingjay would just be unnecessarily stretching it out. Leave it alone. If you're really that depressed that we didn't get to see Katniss's daughter fall in love with Gale's son and President Snow rise from the dead to take his revenge on Katniss's family, then find comfort in fanfiction.net. I'm sure there's something there for you. Do I think The Hunger Games is better than Divergent by Veronica Roth, or vice versa? First of all, this pecking order needs to stop. We need to stop comparing Harry Potter to Twilight. Twilight to The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games to Divergent. They're not on the same playing field, people. They're different sports completely. Different books, different authors, different stories. Leave them alone. So what do Divergent and The Hunger Games have in common? Mm. Well, they're both dystopian novels. Both the lead characters are female. Oh, right. Factions and districts. Guys, if you think Divergent was copying The Hunger Games by having factions, you haven't read any dystopian novels. That idea did not start with The Hunger Games. Like, really, do your homework. Did The Hunger Games kind of make dystopian novels cool again? Yeah. Are a lot of the ideas recycled? Definitely. So, all in all, which do I think is better? I like them both equally, because they're not the same book. And I 
Utopia, we should all just leave them alone. So there you have it, friends. If you have any more questions about a book or a series, anything that you desire, go ahead and comment below. And never forget to subscribe, comment, thumbs up. If you like this thing I'm doing with my neck, thumbs down if it offends you. Testing, testing, one, two, three, I hope this works. Or else my life is bad. Life is bad. It's the best I could come up with, and I'm an English major. Awesome!